representatives of California's Air Resources Board, New Zealand, and Quebec signed a joint declaration. Again, that progressive uh, uh, notion, those uh, that desire for us to identify a challenge and not just meet it, but push further, harder, faster, is still what both uh, uh, California and New Zealand are still trying to do when it comes to the crisis of climate change. It goes, uh, Governor, without saying, we have for many years had much in common. We have shared values, we have shared challenges, but a shared optimism on what we can achieve um, together. Uh, and given that already, uh, as uh, a whole of all the visitors we have from the United States, 25% come from here. Uh, this is an area where people make good life choices. <laughs> um, we have a natural connection and I'm so pleased we've put pen to paper today to confirm that and continue our cooperation on one of the great challenges of our generation. Thank you, Madam Lieutenant Governor. Welcome, everybody. We can't take for granted leadership because we're so desperate for leadership when you find it. People that truly step up, meet a moment head on. Certainly after Christchurch, that was self-evident, but it wasn't just Christchurch in the aftermath and what the prime minister did on a series of issues. And, and so for me, um, this is also an opportunity to say thank you for your leadership uh, because that inspires me, the work we do every single day. Following through our commitments from a social justice and environmental justice frame to make sure it's not just an extraction uh, for this next uh, rush. So in this document uh, that was signed and document uh, we will be formally exchanging. You'll see a pathway to exchange more formally uh, those ideals through uh, ideas that have been generated here in California and can be exported to New Zealand and ideas that we can import from New Zealand uh, that have been expressed through iteration, trial and error uh, in New Zealand proper. So, and thank you all very, very much. Look, more broadly, when it comes to issues uh, like gun reforms, New Zealand has had its own experience, and I can only reflect on that. Uh, we were confronted with a horrific event on the 15th of March several years ago, uh, and it was clear that the New Zealand public expected uh, its politicians to find solutions and quickly. Now, are they the answer to, to all of our issues as they relate uh, to weapons in New Zealand? No, but they were practical steps that we believed were necessary and that would make a difference, and so we made them. Um, I'm quite interested in pickles. Is that it? Three. 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 Three.